Alright, so Lil TJ dropped his new album recently, and one of the main tracks is called June 22nd, which is my type of beat, man. I used to make a lot of orchestral style music, so I think I know exactly what to do with this one. To be honest, the album has a whole mix of vibes, from soulful beats to drill to orchestral trap. So I could have taken it a few different ways or even made a few different videos, but you've all seen me make a lot of drill beats, so for this one, we're going trap. And if you want any other styles, then just let me know in the comments, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so I'm going to show you the formula for these type of beats. First things first, the BPM wants to be around 160. And then we'll start with a piano. And my go-to one is always the Noir one in contact. I always just bring the level up a bit here. And I use this because I just think it's one of the best sounding pianos in a VST. Now, all these type of beats, like the little TJ ones, the little baby ones, they all follow a similar chord progression. June 22nd has the B minor scale, I think. And it just starts on the one, which is the B. And it always usually goes from the one to the six. And what I mean by that is the seven notes in the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's gonna go to the six, which is the G. We can extend that and bring it here. And then you could go down to the five like this, or you could go up to the seven. And then you could even extend this, make it twice as long. Then that repeats, same with this one. And that's the progression. So as long as you're following those bass notes, you can start building chords on top of those. And look, man, most beats are built around a chord progression and there's only so many chords out there. So that's why you hear a lot of similar sounding beats because a lot of people are using the same chord progressions. And there's not really any harm in doing that, but the way you can make it unique is by your sound selection, the way you play the chords, the inversions you use, and obviously the counter melodies too. So yeah, let's just pitch this down and I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna turn these bass notes up too. So it's like really hitting the piano. And then from here, I could just build a counter melody or build chords or a mixture of them both. So let's see what we could do. So I could take that, copy it. I'll bring this down. So I'm feeling that. I'm also hearing this kind of bounce. And yeah, just something similar here. And then what I could do is just copy this whole thing over, and see how this sounds. See what I'm saying? Already it sounds sick. I just need to make it a bit more natural so I can start off by randomizing the velocity and then I like to fine tune it so I might just bring some down manually too. Like this one. And then I don't want everything perfectly on grid so I can just start bringing some notes out too. Might change this bit and just do three and then just have those rise up yeah try to repeat that all right i think the chords are sounding sick now i just want some kind of fast repetitive melody on top and i just need to go by ear for this one so i could just repeat that and then change something here. Yeah, maybe that, and then just copy this. Or oh, we'll randomize it first. Maybe just bring those back up. Let's pitch it up though. Let's see what it sounds like in D minor. Now I'm thinking I want to make this a bit more interesting. So instead of having everything in this piano, I might take that top line and then copy it into a different instrument or do it with the chords. Like that. That sounds kind of sick, you know, for one layer anyway. And then I want that going between both ears just to separate it. So I'm just adding pancake and bringing the mix down and then I'll change it from two bars to one bar. I'm gonna get rid of the keys in the piano. 
and then I'll just keep them on a separate layer in case I want to take them out in some parts. Definitely want some reverb on that piano though. So of course we're going to use Valhalla. Let's turn that lead down a bit. And then I've also added this medium darkroom preset in effect rack. Just gives it a bit more atmosphere. Crystallizer might sound sick on this one. Turn the pitch up to 1200 so it's up an octave and then just bring the mix right down. I just want it subtle. Okay, and for these type of beats, I'd usually add a layer of strings. So I'm going to go back to contact again. Actually, let's use BBC Orchestra. This is a free plugin, so people might like this one. And I think we just take the chords. And all I'm doing here is just going seven notes apart because that would be the full chord, A sharp major. I'm just getting rid of the middle note. Same with this one. All right, next up, I want to add a vocal to this. And not all of these beats have these type of vocals, but I like to add them in mine. So I'm going to use Voice of Wind. Maybe just go back to the same one. And then change here. Vocals are around 140 BPM now, so I'm just gonna bring it down and then bounce it. It's just so it's more in time. So I'm gonna render this, set it to stretch, and then bring it back up to 160. And then on these vocals, I always do some similar processing. For example, I have this vocal mixing chain, which is gonna be in the Cactus Creators Club. So I'll talk about that soon. But essentially it's just little altar boy bringing up the formant, an EQ to filter, pancake, some delay, and then some reverb. Sounds hard. And for the melody, I don't really want to add much more than that, but I do want to add a sub bass. So of course I'm going to use my Aurora drill bank and use the gritty sub bass. Just works every time. But I want to bring these instruments together, so I'm just going to hold control, click and highlight over all four of them. Right click on insert five and then root to this track only. And this is just going to group them together. Because I like to add RC20, I feel like it just ties everything together. Yeah. Then I'm also just going to cut out the lows. And this is going to take them away from everything. Just saving more room for the sub now. I think the vocals are actually going to sound better up a full octave like this. It'll just stand out a bit more. Alright, six. So I've got enough of the melody. And I'm used to adding drill drums on these type of beats. But like I said, we're going trap today. Yo, I just wanted to jump in and make a quick announcement. Because the pre-launch sale for the Cactus Creators Club is ending in just a few days. It's going to be a sick producer community. Where you'll get access to things like the project files for the beats I make in my videos. Monthly kits, exclusive tutorials, live sessions with me, beat reviews and way more. You can even earn Cactus Coins by participating in challenges and beat battles. Then you can use those coins to unlock other goodies. So yeah. In a few days, the price is going up to the normal fee. So if you are interested, click the link in the description right now because you'll get a 50% off for life plus other early access bonuses. So I'll see you all in there soon and let's get back into the video. So yeah, let's go to my Trap Lords kit. And I usually use this beef snare, but let's try to bite one. We'll grab a hat, just something like this. And I just want to create a simple bounce with the hats. So I always just start off with something simple and then create some rolls like this. Yeah, 
Yeah, even something like that, you know. I think just that simple. And then for the 808, I'm thinking we could use the Z this time. So it to cut itself. So yeah, simple pattern first. And then I'm thinking a reverse one here. So we just need two notes. One of them's gonna be the slide. Then we can turn this one down. Or let's bring it on the same note. There we go. Bring this one up an octave. Try a double note there too. Yeah, why not? All right, I'm gonna swap that hat for the essential one. This always sounds good. Okay, let's grab a second snare. And I always like to use this Gunner one for the in-between snares. And then we could add some rolls as well. That might be the one. Okay, let's grab an open hat as well. And then we'll just shorten this. And then just get rid of the last one. All right, what I could also do is add a fet tricks to the hi hat. And I don't want to go overboard with this, I just want to keep it subtle. simple and honestly you don't really need more drums than that he's quite melodic so you want to save space for those vocals but you can keep it interesting in the arrangement so i've just split everything bring it all in because yeah i always like to add a second 808 pattern we've also got a sub bass we could swap between as well so let's just copy everything first so yeah we could just have the main piano here then in this section we'll bring in the sub bass okay now we can get the vocals in this section and then for the drop we can take the vocals out, take the sub out. And then yeah, we can leave it like that. Then in this section, we could bring the strings back in and maybe the high end of the piano. And then in this one, we'll make the eight weight unique. Or we'll just make it a bit more energetic. Maybe some rolls. We can make this one slide into itself. I think that will work. And then we'll add this drive-by riser effect. Okay, then we could bring the riser there and then just come into a verse section here. So I can take everything, copy that over. And I think we just have the piano chords, bring in the vocal there, take out the kick, this count snare and the open hat. Then we just need one more eight weight there so it doesn't bleed over. Then actually with that vocal, we're going to have one part where it's down an octave, so like here. And then in this section, you can come back off or go back on. Yeah, hard. And then just cut the sub here. All right, and then from here, I can just take everything and then copy that over. All right, so let's have a listen from the beginning. So I'll just play it from halfway through the intro. Yeah, this one sounded sick, man. And the kick comes in. Second day weight pattern. And 
And then yeah, coming into the verse, everything just chills out a bit. Then we bring the vocals in, but down an octave. Yeah, if you're feeling this one and you want to see more track tutorials, click up here. Or if you want to stick to drill, click up here. And I appreciate you all for watching once again.